Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Toys Day, which means it is time for another Nas Watches Grim Gal v Fantasy and Asher, Ashes and Illusions, whichever the fuck the title is called. Um, not gonna lie, not gonna lie, I'm I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of annoyed at this show right now because of the bullshit they pa they pulled last week. Just a little little tiny bit. So, uh, in, so in the last episode, uh, they fought some goblins, they finally killed one, and then the rest of the episode was a fucking, was a fucking, uh, shit-ass music video for someone's, for someone's classical fucking orchestra, I guess. All in all, really shitty time. And then they spied on the girls bathing, and then they got their asses beat, because of course they did, because... Anime. Oh boy, but yeah. So let's yeah. So let's uh, let's just get in here. Let's give them give them another chance. I mean, they I mean I mean hey, I usually go four episodes before I make my final judgment. So let's get in here and see what they up to. In three, two, one, and go. So you heard me, Grim Guy. You got two more episodes to prove yourself. Got two more. Ah, uh, yes. Using a knife that he probably used to kill a goblin to slice up some vegetal. See, the coppery taste adds a little bit of flavor. Hooray, more watercolors. Yay, they, they totally don't look at odds with everything else. That basket's empty, my dude. Like, that, that basket was fucking empty, my dude. Did they forget to draw them? Can't believe that man boiled his soup. I can't believe it. Do we ever find out what the fuck they were like when they were in the real world? Like, was this man a chef or something? So if this man was a chef, why are they fucking making him an adventurer? Why would you fucking isekai a chef? Like, isekaiing a butcher or a cop, I guess I'd understand. Hey, there you go. There you go, Japan. That's your new fucking isekai plot twist. A fucking sack of shit cop gets hit by a fucking car and awakens in a new land where he has to actually protect people. There you go. I could take that joke further, but I'm not going to because it's, you know, I, 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 wanna, I don't want to bring bullshit here, huh? I got reincarnated and now I actually have to protect people. What the fuck? <sighs> oh yeah, no, no, I, I, no, my, my brain's already ahead of me. No, no, I can't, because people gonna get upset. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, straight up. So, did, are they actually going to tell us? what the fuck, like, these people's lives were like before they got isekai or does it not matter? Or, or, sorry, does the show think it doesn't matter? Because I think that's the main thing that kind of is annoying me. The fact that these guys, they all share a character trait. And it's, I don't know who the fuck I am. And it's, like, it's hard for characters to fucking, like, talk with each other or, like, bond or, like, have, like, things when it's, like, they've all got a collective month and a half or something of life experience. Like, they can't be like, oh, yeah, no, I remember when I was a kid, yeah, that was, 
there was a fucking like pi- like wild pig that got in my backyard and da, 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 da. like when they're talking about like fighting orcs or whatever you know like oh no oh no wizard chan big tit is just fucking out of here How did you break the wall, anyway? Oh, there's no cops in this town! Man, I didn't know this- I didn't know this ta- this town was in fucking Minnesota. God damn. Things really went down. <laughs> uh. And you're making it worse! Great! Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. You should have just stabbed him to death, my dude. If there's no cops, no one's just gonna stop you. If he got stabbed, if he got stabbed to death, he just shouldn't have got stabbed. Just don't get stabbed, idiot. Just don't get hit. My man's always out here woodworking, huh? What the fu- That is the most retarded frog I've ever seen. It jumps and caves its fucking skull in when it jumps. I'm waiting for them to get jumped by goblins. She likes to call them boblins, though. That, that's actually kind of cute. Boblin. My girl, d- dead ass out here thirsting. Like, you know, maybe I wouldn't have been so mad if you'd have seen my titties instead of that other asshole. Oh boy, lightning. That's fun. My girl just wants to show her titties to him, man. Fuck. Imagine he turned around, her fucking shirt was off, and she's just like, Just look at them! Look at them! That's why I like when she's in her, like, normal... And I say like it sarcastically, by the way. I like how when she's in her fucking, um... Like, civilian outfit, she's straight flat-chested. The second she puts on her adventurer gear, she's got badonks. Fucking, you could really tell the fucking character designers what what their fucking priorities were, huh? Fucking go kill more goblins, idiot. If you don't wanna if you don't wanna starve, just go kill more goblins. I imagine like real world fucking clothing probably also isn't designed to be done on a fucking wash tub, huh? I mean, depending on the time period, underwear might not even exist. Like... 
Like, underwear was invented fairly quickly when fucking people discovered, oh man, yeah, no, support for my balls are needed. But... <laughs> But there was a time where just everyone was running around fighting and fucking with their with they balls out, you know? Like My dude, you really gonna My lads my lad, for real, come on now. Are you fucking... How fu how fucking prudish do you have to be to say girls can't fucking go around wearing a fucking tunic and I mean they have panties just because they're they're washing them at the at that moment doesn't mean that they're not wearing panties like the rest of the time. You can't see anything. She's wearing shorts. Mm. How much of this show is going to be like, aha, the man's a rapist, ha 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 ha. It's not gonna lie, I'm kind of tired of this in anime, honestly. Like, it was just barely tolerable when Persona 4 did it. And also doggos! Then why are you here, then? Oh, these goblins are stronger. So we're going here anyway, despite the fact we're gonna get our shit blasted, and we're gonna hope that they're separated from the groups. Stab his neck. If you... You could have just sna stabbed his neck, my dude. How does it take three of you to kill one goblin? Why is the rogue not doing this? These guys suck so much at their job. How do you stab someone? when they're sleeping and not go for this is why daggers are usually what people use when they're killing someone who's asleep because you can get it right at their neck and just go Kuck. so i saw four yes four silver pieces and some fucking valuables so i mean hey that's still a pretty good haul for one goblin I was gonna say, you ain't gonna stop at one goblin, are you? My dude, you couldn't even kill a sleeping goblin by yourself. Yo, come get your mans, he's being a fucking idiot. You missed all of his vital spots. You stabbed him in the shoulder. Like, he was wearing a breast... He's wearing a breastplate. But, like, he's still got a neck. And also, a sword like that you shouldn't be stabbing. It's got a curved end. You should be swinging with it. 
Should have just swung at his neck and taken his head clean off. Are goblin pouches filled with our dreams? No, it's filled with money. So, is this going to be a recurring thing? Are we just going to get like, oh, hey, here's music, here's a music video. I mean, at least this one, we've got them talking over it, but still. My man out here haggling with the fucking tailor. And it's working. My man's out here haggling for fucking underwear. Yes, blow through all your money at the fucking ramen stand. Yeah, no, 100%. I feel like these guys are poor not because they're running out of money, but because they keep spending it on dumb shit. Like, like buying underwear, okay. Buying lunch, okay. Buying a fucking handbag! <laughs> Come on now, chief. Yes, whether you want it to be or not. Like, this still feels like a pyramid scheme, you know? Get a bunch of people that have been isekai and have no idea what the fuck they're doing. And fucking trick them into becoming fucking cannon fodder soldiers, that most of which are probably going to die. I mean, he's got a point. If you spend all your fucking money, like, you're, like, you have to keep, you have to kill this many goblins every single day. I mean, it's something that you're doing anyway, and you might fucking need the money, especially if you keep spending it all on fucking noodles. And was she not wearing panties? Is that, was, that, was that what they were trying to say? Because that was a zoom in on the butt. In a big way. I was like, hmm. It's about time you actually talk to our party members, you dumb bitch. Draw that hay must be the itchiest fucking shit. Is, like, seriously, how many of these episodes are going to be, like, one little bit of action and then just essentially a montage? 
Because we're just bouncing around. Like, how much time has passed? I was actually about to call you a bitch. He had, for some reason, I feel like he has the, he has the, uh, he's got the memory of being a friendless loser. I don't know. Makes sense. God, imagine if he went with the people that were more skilled. They'd all be dead. So what is going on with the fucking, like, the skilled guys? Where, where'd they head off to? Where, where did fucking Chad Thundercock head off to? Like, I, I, I like to imagine that they, they are just living, like, this perfect life. They're like, oh yeah, no, nah, man, living here is fucking easy, what the fuck? Ah, uh, yes, my man was a revolutionary. My man, my man was a revolutionary anarchist. What he's writing up there is his manifesto. Oh my god, he was a friendless loser. He was a friendless loser in the real world. Oh my fucking god. That's the weirdest fucking moon ever, dude. <laughs> the Manitou in the old world may have killed 30 prostitutes and buried them in his backyard. But this Manitou doesn't know- hasn't done that, so you know, he's probably fine. Jesus. Day 23, so it hasn't even been a fucking month, and they blew through all their money. <laughs> These idiot fucking kids, my dude. <sighs> Alright. Alright. So level with me real quick. Like, in the comments. Level, level with me. How much of this show is going to be something relatively interesting happens, and then the entire rest of the episode is shitty fucking orchestral slash fucking J-pop music, and either a montage... Or fucking a bunch of little fucking, uh, min- minuets, is that it? I don't know, I don't, I don't remember what the fucking term is, I don't know. Uh, little fucking, little fucking like, oh hey, here's what we're doing, like, in this part of the day, then big time skip, and then the, like, because that's not a very interesting way to tell a story. It's really not. You're going to tell the story, tell the story. Don't tell, like, a chunk of, the, chunk of the story that's interesting, and then bounce around to the least interesting parts. If it's not interesting, which it's not, then don't tell it. Or tell a condensed version of it. You know, like... We don't know who these people are. And these things don't... 
cool, he shows his ass, and they go back to the city. And then they meet an elf, okay. And then someone, and then Manitou fucking dies. Manitou fucking dies, I can't believe it. Um, but, alright. So, so the past two episodes, what they've done is, they've done, like, a pretty interesting thing of, like, oh, hey, like, oh, they've done pretty interesting, like, little bit, and it's like, oh, yeah, we're gonna fight this goblin, this goblin here, we're gonna, like, oh, man, we got our first goblin kill, yeah! And then here, there's like, okay, we're going to go start hunting down goblins instead of just stumbling across them. We're going to avoid the big packs and go after the small ones. Yeah! Um, and then, immediately after the interesting thing is done, which takes up like a third of the episode, the remaining two-thirds, in the previous episode, it was just a music video, essentially, with a fucking montage. And then here, it's the same thing, except we had a voiceover over it. And... And then, and then you had, like, the little scenes of, like, them talking to each other. But... You've got a full cast of, am of amnesiac characters. Already you are at a disadvantage. Because usually, with amnesiac characters, you surround- You use the amnesiac character as a jumping, on jumping in point for the viewer. The amnesia character isn't going to know how the world works. They're not going. It's why isekais are so fucking popular because isekais you do this, but you don't need the amnesia. Here they have isekai and amnesia. But an isekai character or an amnesia character, they don't know how the world works. They don't remember anything, or they didn't don't have the information because the world they come from doesn't have the other shit. So they don't know how magic works. They don't know how to use a sword. They don't know how to use a crossbow. They're like, oh man, how does the economy work here? Fucking. Da 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 da. But the f and and you use that to teach the viewer about how the world works using ancillary characters and secondary characters and supporting characters that do know how the world works. So they come into magic for the first time, and the amnesiac or isekai character will be go like, "Hey, why that man shooting lightning from his hands?" And they'll be like, "Well, you see, protagonist, protagonist Kuhn, uh, our world is got this big energy field around it called the." <laughs> Fuck. Called the energy, and people who are, who are good at magic can use the energy to convert it into uh, less raw and more refined forms, like lightning or fire or healing or grass or whatever the fuck. And that would be, and and that would be the explanation. So now the amnesia character knows that, and the viewer knows it. Whereas if the amnesia character was not an amnesia character, they were from that world, they'd be like, oh, he's using the energy. And then, like, the explanation needs to come either from an external source, like, basically, like, a fucking little, like, asterisk on a fucking manga page, or a, or a fucking narrator coming in, yeah, or it would just be something that doesn't get explained at all, like, but here, we don't have ancillary characters that know what the fuck's going on. Nobody knows what the fuck is going on. So we, and, and as a result, these characters, they're still figuring out what their personality is. Like, we've gotten minor little, little sections where it's like, where fucking, uh, Mokyo is like, Oh, yeah, I think I like cooking. I, I think I, I think I was a chef or a, a cook or something. I cooked for people. Uh, I don't know. Mm, I don't think that's the thing I'm doing. It's pretty neat. And it's like, oh, yeah, I like whittling also. Like, that's cool. But only he is getting it. Only he is getting stuff like that. Closest we got is Monito went like, Yeah, I think I was an asshole. And then to which our protagonist goes, instead of exploring it, the protagonist goes like, Nah, you're not an asshole, you're a good boy. It doesn't matter who you were before, it matters that you're who you are now. And it's like, my dude, the fucking, the... None of you have any character. All you have is like the fucking... Like, mm, hmm. you are you are stereotypes. You are archetypes. That's all you are. You have the protagonist, the pervert, the leader, the fucking the the big dumb kind-hearted one, the brash girl, the shy girl. That's it. That's all they are. They are just archetypes. They have no character beyond those archetypes. Like. It's paint by numbers, and every time that they get a chance to, they either give it to Mogio or they ignore it. Like, <laughs> the, 
Like you could like like I hope I hope people understand how frustrating this is. Like because it feels like like we should be having these moments where it's like we should be having these moments where it's like fucking uh like stuff should be self-contained, you know? Like okay, so I like the goblin thing. The goblin thing can stay. Even like this bit with them in the washing room, that bit could stay. But uh, expound on it a little bit, you know? Like it it seems like it ended before like really anything happened. Like fucking uh okay, like if I was going to rewrite this episode, right? If I was going to rewrite this episode after after the go everything like until after the goblin thing can like can go right the goblin thing can stay and that's good and that's fine and that's honestly the best character development they've fucking got so far they can keep that right but after it yeah we show that show our heroes coming back into town because i we have no idea where the fuck anything is in relation to the town because we never see them coming or going they just seem to fucking teleport like show our heroes coming into town they've got this big satchel of money yeah they've got from all the goblins and they've got like stuff to sell yeah, you know, like, we just kind of have, like, one of the characters that we don't want to explore at the moment. So let's say, uh... M fuck it, Monito. So say Monito, he's like, okay, guys, I'm gonna take the ba big bag of loot, I'm gonna go sell it off, I'm gonna... And we're gonna get some extra spending money. Here's the fucking... Here's the 30 silver that we found off the goblins. He shares it out to, to each of them. Go get supplies we need, and anything you need, but don't overspend. And you just kind of have, like, a fucking bit of, like, people splitting off in their groups. Or, or you can, people go solo. Doesn't matter. Like, you can have the scene where the guy buys underwear, and that's fine. That scene is fine. Yep. And then you can have fucking uh, Maguyo and fucking Ranta eating noodles. Yeah, you know, you have them have a discussion, like, fucking they're walking along, they see the noodle stand, and Ranta's like, Hey, yo, let's get some lunch! And Mugiyo's like, I don't know if we should, my dude, fucking, uh, you know, like, we're supposed to be buying stuff. He's like, no, it's fine, we should get lunch, you know, just kind of have stuff like that. Like, have, like, if you're going to have, like, have, instead of having it bounce around to fucking however many days fucking passed, because it looks like multiple days fucking passed in this, in the bouncing around, have just a little section of them going around the town and enjoying themselves, and then once, like, the ones that you want to be exploring and learning about them, once they've had their bit, then you skip to the end of the day. Then you have Monito be like, you know, I think I might have been an asshole in my previous life. And that's when Monito gets his, gets his little bit of development, beca because he didn't get it when they were selling things, you know? Like, keep shit, keeps it shit contiguous. Don't skip around. Don't use fucking montages as a supplement for fucking character development. Because you have none. You cannot do character development in a montage. Like, the whole point of a montage is to skip development. Like... Like, the reason 80s movies did montages is because in the 80s... Fucking character development was separate from martial development. So what they would do is they would have all the character development happen outside of the montage. And like when fucking like Mr. the Mr. Miyagi character was like, "Okay, Daniel son, you have learned how to not be asshole. Now it is time to learn crane kick." Then montage happens, you know. And then at the end of it, it's like you have learned the crane kick, and it's like, "Wow!" And it feels like it only took five minutes. That is because movie runtime does not have does not have time for this, like. You know what I mean? Like, a montage should be you taking stuff that you do not need to show. Show someone, like, learning a new skill, or fucking practicing a move, or fucking whatever. Stuff that the viewer does not need to see in entirety, and you replace it with a montage. That's what that's for. You don't use a montage to supplement character interactions. Fuck. Like, like, I, I, I just... It is the most frustrating thing, and they need to stop doing it, because there was so, so much room for character development, and just character interaction, and actually learning who the fuck these people are! Like, because right now, right now, they are nothing but their archetypes. And we even see, like, the aftermath of stuff that could be interesting, like fucking... 
like fucking shy girl spends money that could have been spent on uh. on food and useful shit on a fucking hair clip on a fucking beret like what what interaction did she have that led to her buying that this this girl who is shy and demure and is like oh no don't look at me what leads to her buying something that is that flashy and that expensive looking That would have been a perfect moment to exp like, expound on her character a little bit. Make her more than just the shy girl with big titties and thick thighs. It was right there! And you let it go! Like... I swear to god, the fucking rest of the show best not be this because it is pissing me off to no end. Because it's like... The parts where they actually show us the character's fucking being characters is actually decent and then they just fucking skip the rest of it like <laughs> i'm so upset my dude i'm so upset like oh uh, but yeah another another episode like the first two episodes are fine like they weren't like knock shit out of the park but they were fine these last two this better not be a recurring fucking theme, or this last- this next episode is gonna be the last one I fucking watch, cause I'm fucking not dealing with the majority of a fucking character's development happening in a fucking montage. I'm not dealing with that. So, so yeah. That's what I'm- that's how I feel about this- about this episode. Let me know what you think down there in the comments, whether you liked it, you disliked it, or you wanna bring up something I left out, or something that just... Cause that happens sometimes. And, and yeah, as always, I am Nozovix. Remember to like, comment, fair, subscribe, share on social media, tell your friends, hit that share button down below, and share on the Facebook and the Twitter and all that good shit. And if you want, you can always support me on Patreon, which is linked in the description and on the end card, along with the list of all the people that keep the show up and running and keep me alive. Oh boy. Um, and if you do want to become a patron, there's some rewards and stuff going on that's all on the patron page. So, yeah. I'll see you in the next video, but most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today, and I will see you a rune